Hey everyone, thanks for coming to the Leadfast YouTube channel again uh, to check out a, another video review. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Field Notes Utility. Uh, we got the Utility Ledger and the Utility Graph. As a subscriber, you get one three pack of each. Um, I have taken the liberty of unwrapping these already, but this is how they look um, when you get them. Uh, you also, as a subscriber, get the after hours utility tool, which I have already put on a key. Um, so, there's that. Uh, basically, it's a bottle opener. Um, so, ledger and graph. Uh, the ruling is actually down on the bottom of the page in kind of black and uh, yellow. Now, this is kind of a perfect blend of orange and yellow. Um, they may they look like they're reading a little bit yellow on the video, but in person they read a little bit orange. Uh, in the pictures on Field Notes website, they read a little bit orange, uh, more orange than yellow. Although they call these, I believe, safety yellow. Um, so I'm gonna unpack all of these, and we can talk about the individual books. Um, one thing I did notice right off the bat is these are super thick books. Um, they barely fit in the belly band. They're busting at the seams, as you can see. Uh, all of this, all of this is all torn up. The staples are deep within the cover, and uh, they're actually not cut very well either. Now, uh, this back part here is this is on purpose uh, because they have a fold-out ruler, right? So centimeters on one side, inches on the other, as opposed to the normal like inches that it's in a normal field notes. Uh, however, because they had to be able to, you know, cut these square, there was no way they're going to be able to fold that in, or it would have been too difficult and probably too expensive to fold that in either afterwards, you know, uh, or. The process, uh, supposedly, I guess, would have been too expensive. They talk about it a little bit on their website, um, what the impossible process and what they uh, did to do it. Um, but you can see, like, let's just forget about that back page. You can see the corner is just not up to field notes standards at all. Um, they're not, not every one was like this. This was the one I was ink testing and lead testing um, yeah this one is like that and those are the ledgers so two out of the three ledgers are like that uh, this one is kind of bad but not great or not I wouldn't call that terrible um, this one is pretty decent this one's not so good um, anyway uh, yeah and just I don't know, the tops of them kind of all just look a little jankety too. They just don't feel like they were cut very well, folded very well um, at all, like none of it. Uh, and they feel, I feel like they keep going to thicker and thicker paper, which is good, which is what the people want. I mean, right now there is 70, ta uh, 70 pound paper in here, the Mohawk via vellum paper. Um, and then these are an 80 pound cover, right? Which is standard for a field notes, but this is a different type of, I mean, it does feel thicker um, than a standard field notes cover. And it is definitely a different paper. However, it says 80 pound. So 80 pound plus 70 pound paper, that makes for a thicker book. I mean, these are definitely thicker than a normal, uh, let me just grab a, So that's like the craft ones, right? Um, mix three pack. But these would be 80 pound cover and 60 pound paper now because the new ones are 60 pound paper. And these are just so much thicker. I mean, just so much thicker. You can't. But it seems to me that, like, I don't know, are they like making enough like leeway for the for the thickness to go around? And, you know, and therefore having issues, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, not a, you know, I don't work in printing. So, uh, and I have very, very minimal experience with it in my work at all. And, but I mean, physics, uh, 
it would be, it seems to me that like, if they're still trying to get the same, you know, like this on the big sheet is the same size and they're trying to wrap it around thicker paper, it's just not going to work. I mean, they're going to, it's just going to be tighter. Uh, these just look like they're folded improperly. Uh, they're just not, I don't know. I love this edition. I love the idea behind it. Uh, you know, I grew up, my family owns a factory. Like I am, I've been around like this type of toolsy stuff, like my whole life. Right. But I love, I, so I, I'm saying I love it. However, uh, the quality control on this seems to be a little lacking. It was the same way with the LL Bean field notes that just came out. They seem to be a little lacking in quality control. The Carhartts seem to be a little lacking in quality control. Um, you know, we didn't really have that, see that problem with the black ice because it was pure bound, right? So, or perfect binding. So, you know, it, we, we wouldn't see, you know, a, a folding problem or, you know, or, you know, two, you know, these staples going super deep or, you know, just the, I don't know. I don't know. I'm at a loss for words on that a little bit because, um, on the one hand, I really, really love this whole look, the whole situation. It's cool that they're doing engineering graph. I, you know, I'm not even a graph guy. I like lines. It's cool that they're doing a ledger. You know, it's very light, and I could ignore this. And you know what? Uh, this reminds me of the right notepads uh, pocket ledger, and I love the hell out of that and use that all the time. Like the little one with the, you know. Uh, top bound brass bound thing, uh, wire O binding. So, uh, I have no problems with the, the, the ruling inside. Like a lot of people on the field nuts group have had, I just have a little bit of a problem with the quality control. I would love, and you know, the fact that the prices are going up doesn't help that at all. I mean, the fact that we've gone from nine ninety five to twelve ninety five on all of these releases, all the newer releases now, the you know they haven't really raised the everyday craft price but the fact that this went up like three bucks um and the quality has seemingly gone down um that's kind of blah for me that kind of upsets me a little bit um just a tiny smattering of you know st uh testing here uh really this Jin Hao, I don't even know what nib it is thickness wise. It doesn't say on the nib and you know, it's a cheap pen, but it's super thick and it does bleed. Like I'll test out all my fountain pens, which just is nowhere near it, but I'll test out all my, you know, fountain pens on some paper and uh, the Jin Hao will be the only one that will bleed through because it just lays down such a thick line. Um, but I think like F nibs um, and you know, Japanese medium nibs, probably good. Um, of course, pencil is good. Um, you know, like there's no issue with something like the Pilot Precise or, um, let's see. That, that What you can see there is the Jin Hao. And then I, I wrote something in pencil and erased it here. But, um, yeah. So I would say like, you know, you're not ink testing on this thing, but if you're writing in a fine point fountain pen, you know, uh, it's going to be fine. Um, it seems like the paper's toothy, but it also feels like, like with the pencil point to the, to the paper, it feels somewhat smooth. Like all of these are different kind of darknesses, but they all look the same on this page, except for the Blackwing Pearl and this 2014 Norca. Um, you know, this is an H, so that's a little bit different. A uh, Baron Fig's a little bit of a harder pencil. It's a little bit different, but you know, I, I'm. I feel like it's toothy and takes a lot of, of graphite, but at the same time, it doesn't feel toothy on when you're writing. Um, so that's a little. It was a little odd. Uh, I only tested the ledger. I did not test the um, the graph because they're the same paper, just different. You know 
printing on them. Uh, let's go over the practical applications real quick and then we'll end the video. Uh, practical applications. Hardware store list, union dues owed, hard hat design sketches, job site nicknames, paint color formulas, lava versus Gojo arguments. I don't, oh, that's a soap, <laughs> lava soap, yeah. Uh, welding invitations, cranes climb, grading calculations, objects to bulldoze, load bearing locations, hardware store list, second trip, yeah. Um, hip angles, roofers, eavesdrop on good cock jokes. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, riveting stories, framing plans, leaks to fix, bricks to juice, uh, odes to sawdust, uh, surveyor's recommendations, F-150 mileage maintenance. That might be a little fix or repair daily joke in there. Um, hardware store list, third trip. Uh, Joyce jostle, building codes to circumvent. Uh, bids calculated, zoning board friendlies. Overtime tracking, boots ranked, and earth to move. That's pretty cool. Uh, those are pretty funny. Um, printed at the same place they print all their other ones, so... You know, you can't say that, hey, you know, the quality control is, you know, the quality of the printer's fault. I don't know. I mean, because, you know, you look at just the normal straight up three pack and it's beautiful. You know, the corners are perfect. Um, somebody said to me, well, you know, the the thicker paper, that that is a problem, you know, for corners. And I, and I said, sorry, I just hit the camera. I was like, okay, well, this thing has beautiful corners, pristine, in fact, and guess what? Uh, this is thicker paper and just as thick of a cover and more pages. So uh, this right notepads, I mean, is corner-wise gorgeous. So I don't know. I mean, they may be a different angle. You know, they probably are. But still, it just comes down to they print a shitload of these and some of them get through. And unfortunately, it seems to me that uh, more have been getting through than others. So maybe it's time to like take a step back, stop maybe trying to be so crazy and just do another colors edition a la Shenandoah. You know, that had a theme, a follow, well followed through theme. And honestly, one of my favorite books. Uh, Shenandoah is definitely one of my favorite books. Um, I'm not saying don't innovate, but, you know, your innovation has cost us three bucks a pack, too. So, anyway, uh, so that's that. Uh, full review will be on the blog. Um, Actually, if you're watching this from the blog, you've probably read the full review. So um, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do. Um, we will uh, we will uh, have more videos uh, very soon. There's been a lot of things going on um, in the last couple weeks, days. So more things to review, more stuff to check out. Um, I do plan on doing a, uh, like I did with January, doing a kind of a February month end thing. So, um, think about watching that. And if you haven't checked out the sharpener series on the blog on leadfast.org, uh, please do check that out. Uh, four sharpeners pitted against each other. Um, so five posts total. I did four sharpeners, individual reviews, then five posts total. Um, and so that's something definitely to take a look at. And, uh, if you are a pencil person, uh, is definitely worth checking out. Plus I did like a 25 minute video on it. Um, all right. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Please give a thumbs up. Please leave a comment and uh, we'll see you next time.